okay let's go right into the vn app and i'm going to show you how it compares to inshot and why i love it okay we step right into it click on it so when you're downloading this app from the store just make sure you recognize it by the way it is written vn right it was called vlog now all right so once you get it you'll be asked to log in or rather sign up and then you can have your own account okay so um once you come in here it's going to be empty for you if you're using it for the first time but i've used it before that's why i have my list of projects here for a new user you would have to start with of course a new project so this is how you start the first button the second button on the bottom here um the plus sign so i'm just going to click on that and then you click on new project so with a new project you just have to put in the video that's always the first thing to put into your timeline and i'm going to show you what the timeline looks like all right so i'm just clicking on that video again and then voila beautiful timeline everything showing me as it is all right compared to the other app that i couldn't see all these other elements so i'm going to show you exactly what happens here um the video is going to play the same test test video we're using okay um with this video it's going to play normally if you don't want to put the volume if you don't want to put the volume this is the volume icon you can just click on it and it goes off so it's going to be um video without sound but of course we want our volume the next element there is the video of course so if you want to add another video to it maybe you have more videos and you want to join them together i clicked on that so did you see it i clicked on it so the way this works is that this element on the left hand side of the timeline you see the line moving through the time <laughs> through so the left element on the timeline of course the next one after the volume is where the video is so we can add one more video if we want so i'm just going to click on this video yeah and then i import so now i have my two videos so that's how you add video after video after video okay and edit them all together so this is the second video if you want to move your videos around just click on the video hold it and then it will change like this and then you move it okay so you can test it out just click on it put your finger there hold it and it will change and then you move it to where you want to move it so maybe you want to move it to the end or the beginning blah blah so you can move it and that's how your videos can move around all right so i'm going to move it keep it um at the end okay so do you see our video has moved all right let's go back to the um, start of the timeline the next element there is tap to add sticker through pip which is picture in picture so um if you click on that you can add a picture into this picture so the truth is in videography it's called picture whether it's a video whether it's an um a still photo it's still called picture this other one that is video is called motion picture and then of course the other ones are still photos so you just get used to these terminologies anyways uh-huh so here you can choose whether you want to put in stickers or pictures in your library in your phone gallery so here stocks you can check out your phone gallery and put in anything practically even if it's a video you can put it so i'm going to try to put in the video we just recorded and it's so that you see how this can play out right so you put it in and you can use your finger and pinch it so it gets bigger it gets smaller feel free to pinch it so do you notice why this is also nice if you notice in the video i actually kept myself to one side so i could display anything on the other side of the of the um screen so this helps so if i want to put in this kind of thing it just fits because there's space for it or if i want to put in put in some write-up it helps so i just kept a lot of, a little bit of space by my side compared to the other side as you can see all right so if we if we do that now let's see let's say we want to cut the video so it doesn't play all through we can make it come in at some point when amber is talking and then it comes in all right let's see uh -huh. to show that we are actually want app, something no I mean, or you find in the app store, store. so it just came in and it has this volume obviously and the volume going to fight with what i'm saying so i'm just going to click on it all right click on it on the timeline and do some changes so the first change i want to do is the volume volume so i probably want to off that volume from the pip the picture in picture i just did so bottom here bottom left i click on right. volume right. and i put off the volume entirely yeah. so right now what it means is that while i'm demonstrating something it will only be me talking not two of us <laughs> to show that we are actually worth something i mean many of us have let's move it to where the video can even start talking and trust me if you want to get it to the point where you want to show a particular part what I just, all i just need to do is split cut 
all right we'll get to that point of the video later but let me just show you briefly so let me say i don't want to show this first bit of the video and i want to show the part where we talked about other stuff all right like this as you can see uh -huh, where I, I talked about creating a new video you just need to click there since if you see this blue icon you know that i'm particularly on this blue i'm i'm on the of course i'm on the picture right now which is on the screen the pip whenever that comes up just know that that is the particular um element that you have clicked on so with it i can select anything but right now we want to trim want to want to sorry split and cut out what is not needed maybe we want to show how to add a new project so i'm just going to split do you see so what happened here i was able to split this video into two parts because i want it to start from here so i can easily now click on the one i don't want and delete it so i click on the delete button do you see so now when i get to this part maybe i want to talk and about in short and adding a new project you're waiting for you're waiting for that content you're waiting so everything is going to play questions. normally they don't know what to exactly like the last video they, they are not playing normally books, so all right so, so i just wanted to demonstrate that briefly to you um what other elements are we talking about if you want to if you want to move that to any point click on it sorry and then hold then drag okay so maybe you want it to start at the beginning fine do you see so it's going to start at the beginning amazing all right so um the next thing there we want to look at click outside it or on the video itself or outside on this empty side on the left so that you just see a clean place to work and then probably you want to add text so add text you come over here and you have a lot of options so standard is normal you know normal text if you want to put in a video title you can do that and to see what it looks like i mean it looks like an intro all right so um i like this one i like the mask yes so it always serves so well for an intro let me say you want to write amber and this is beautiful but it serves for an intro anyways but um let's say it's at the beginning and it's just fun talking about you know this is amber talking and stuff <laughs> And then it goes off so because that's because i put it to be a very short time frame in the timeline okay if i want it longer i just need to drag it okay anyways but i like my standards so i'm just going to take that out so click on it and click on delete i mean who is loving this app already and we click on standard standard I'm sticking to short names i've typed my name and i probably want to change the color okay so i'm just going to click on it and um sorry so click on it you can change the color down here the bottom bottom left color click on it and then you can choose the color you want to change this to okay so let's say i'm changing it to red um you can even choose the border for it maybe you want to change the border to yellow uh-huh you know or whatever colors there are so many colors you can there's so many ways you can play around so please feel free to explore feel free to just play around stuff here and if you don't like it you can always go back so this gives the border just play around feel free to press anything here if you don't like anything click tick then come over here and return all right so let me say you didn't like what you did here no problem you can delete it or you come here and click on return so amber is back to normal all right so this is fun if you want to add music it's the last one here on the top so we click on it and then you can select music from the store or you can select any kind of sound in the middle of course this one is different kind of sound whether weather which is rainfall thunder and all of that phone ringing different kind of funny sounds you can add all right um Many people use it for skits and all of that, or you can bring a, a sound from, from the internet, free sound. Or the last element there was record, if you want to do a voiceover. But please make sure you put off the other sound. So remember how we put off the sound for the main video, which is this bottom here? All right. So once we want to do a recording, a voiceover, just click on record and then press record the red button and then you can talk over it talk over your video i mean this is super fun make sure you exploit and 
try to make mistakes so that you can correct your mistakes i mean don't try to be so perfect the first time just try to make mistakes so that you can correct yourself all right and then the last bit i'm going to talk about here is about the aspect ratio like we did in the other app and as you can see the same elements the same aspect ratios they're all here so this is the one we use 16 by 9 amazing if this came in as a wrong aspect ratio we just click on 16 by 9 and we'll have our aspect ratio corrected okay and then of course you have instagram do you see that changing so we don't want this we want tiktok is also here make it longer so we, you get the drift so we want to stick to our rectangle dimension which can fit into youtube and more versatile platforms all right so i believe i've treated the, the basics of what a timeline could look like here and i'm sure you're already deciding which one you prefer if you like in short please feel free if you like this one please feel free all that matters is that the timelines are the same across most editing platforms i don't know if i've seen any that didn't have a timeline it is that important all right so i'm going to see you in the next video okay